and the still conversation Proceed, going Brother on. Mr. Speaker, I want to take this a little more seriously. The young man of 20 years, William Wamanje, though from Kisi, is actually a student in Maseno University, which falls within my constituency, Kisumu West. That young boy lost his life, and he did not have to die. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, when my office order, visited, order. Mr. Speaker, when my office visited, Mr. Speaker, when my office visited order. the Maseno Police Station yesterday, Honorable Rosa Bui is going to be heard in silence. Order, honorable members. Proceed, order. Honorable. When my office visited Maseno Police Station yesterday, the information they got from the police, the OCS, was appalling. Mr. Speaker, what the OCS said was there were demonstrations in Kisumu town, and so they ferried three quarters of their men, the police, to Kisumu to quell the demonstrations. When the Maseno University students got out to demonstrate peacefully, and the police decided to use Mr. Speaker, in the long run, what the police said was they had no more tear gas, and they had to resort to live bullets. Mr. Speaker, what happened to rubber bullets? Why must you go to a demonstration with live bullets, if not with the intention to kill? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Article 37 clearly allows every citizen of this country an opportunity to picket and demonstrate, if they so wish. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the only people who are armed in these demonstrations are the police. Mr. Speaker, Order, honorable members. Honorable Rosa Buyu, let her take her message across. You will have your moment. Don't interject. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the motion before us today is worried about nothing else but money. But the demonstrations were not just worried about money. The demonstrations are about people. People who sleep hungry days on end. People who are lied to during campaigns that they would have pockets full of money and they would have tables full of food as soon as the new regime came into power. Only to discover that they sleep hungry every day. Those are the people who are out on the streets. Mr. Speaker, the demonstrations that you saw yesterday were about Kenyans. Kenyans asking for equitable distribution of opportunities within government amongst 42 tribes of this country, so that not only two tribes get involved or get employed within those opportunities. What's your point of order, Honorable Ichungwa? Honorable Speaker, I empathize with the Honorable Rosa Buyu. But Honorable Speaker, we cannot use the floor of this house to whip up emotions. Yes. And it is a fact that a student of Maseno University was shot dead, and it is also a fact as has been reported, that that uh, young man was shot during the order. Monday demonstration. Order. Order. It has been stated, Honorable Speaker, because it is one thing so what is to say order? that... What is out of what order? Is, what is out of order, Mr. Speaker, is when a member rises in his place order. Order. and purports to order. be speaking... Order. 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 Order, Honorable Chunga. Order. Proceed, Honorable Rosa Buya. Finish. Mr. Speaker. Order, order, order. Thank you for protecting order. me. You will have your moments. Mr. Speaker, order. thank you for protecting me from Honorable Ishungwa because even when I'm not in this house, he says he is so embarrassed, he's so astonished. Where is Rosa Buyu? Mr. Speaker, I'd like to inform him I am here. This is Rosa Buyu. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, he's already taken my time and you must give me one minute. I proceed, plead with proceed, you. Proceed, proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you will have no minute, but proceed. Order. These elections, this order, demonstrations. Order, 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 order. Rosa, you've run out of your time. Uh, the Honorable uh, Naomi Wako, followed by the on, <laughs> for, followed by the MP for Teso South. Order.
order. The MP for Tesla South. 